two nights ago. Okay, it was well. about 2.30 in the morning. And then I saw a figure in the kitchen, just a black figure. I could see the figure and then arms. It said, get out. I said, get out. And then it dropped to the floor. There was smoke and then it looked like creatures going towards my, my hallway to the end of the room where my son is. She recommended us to go get like a limpia. <coughs> um, did you buy anything else? But it's crazy that you say that because, I mean, she made something for my son. Like a cream. concoction? Yes, she told me to put him in the bath in it, so we did it last night. Oh, no. No, no that's, that's really evil. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like, that's all witchcraft. Surrender everything to him right now. Seriously, don't worry about nothing. Surrender everything right now. Let it go. Out. You're, yeah, there it is. There it is. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You have to surrender so he can feel you. I've been going through a lot, not just this week, not just this month. I mean, since I met this guy, we had a kid together. We've, we've tried to make it work, and it just got to the point where, like, adultery took over, drugs, everything. I mean, everything in the book took you, you, over. You, you were dealing with a lot of anxiety? Yeah, I have a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. I mean, so did he. And then, you know, right now, he was trying, he was going to leave, and I don't know, just... I've been asking him to leave, he didn't leave, he didn't leave, he kept staying, but he was being so mean to me, and I stayed, and I kept asking God, like, is this what you want, is this what you want, is this why he's still here, is this why he's not leaving, and then I kept asking him to leave, asking him to leave, he didn't want to leave, and then finally he said he was going to leave, he was talking to other people, obviously he's talking to other girls, and I just got up and left, I mean, I left our son there too, and you I, came, you came, I came driving over here. And I just honestly got off the car and I told God, please give me a sign, please give me something. Wow. And then that's when you asked me if you could pray for me. And it was just weird. <laughs> wow. Didn't you say that y'all were starting to go to church? Yeah, we did. We had started going to church maybe for about four months, four or five months. We had been going to church and, um, you know, things were getting... We had a really big incident where he likes to drink and when he drinks, it gets ugly. And then we had a really big incident, you know, Cops were involved, things were involved, right. and you know, he had to go, he ended up going to a mental facility, and he asked me to stay and be there with him and just to give him the support that he needed. And I was willing to do that even after everything, even after I caught him cheating this time. We were good for, yeah. we were doing good, we were going out, we were making plans, we were going to church every Sunday, we'd wake up, we were, we were doing things that yeah. normal couples do with our I mean, with our child and then um he has another kid he does have another kid and we were trying to get in good terms with them and i was trying to let go of the past and the things that they had put me through as well and right. the things that i had put them through because you know i became a whole different person when yeah. i met him i act crazy i do things that i don't normally do i mean it's blow demonic. up his phone yeah. like doing things like that and it's just but this from one day to the next he just changed but you know, like you were trying to go to church. Did you know any time that you that you set your heart to seek God, you know that you're gonna face opposition. The devil, this is literally the enemy. Like you guys are trying to do things right, right? Make things right with everybody, right? And so and so I'm doing Okay. I'm trying to make things right with everybody, but it's always a problem. It's always me bringing up my feelings and bringing up my feelings to baby mama trying to be cool with her and it's just a problem that we're that i'm doing that like it's just you have to understand this like did he have a, a bad childhood you know yeah really a really bad childhood yes okay so what happens is is that when somebody deals with the bad childhood right and i'm not justifying his actions i'm just telling you this is what he's you're gonna see is now you see him trying to go towards jesus you see him trying to do things right so the devil's gonna try to get in any way he can so he's gonna say hey just have one beer it's okay and that one beer turned to two next to three four and he's out of his mind drunk and doing things that it's the devil it's demons coming and possessing him yes record this so you can hear it and you can actually watch this video later so you can learn more about this <laughs> It's literally the devil, so you have to have forgiveness and mercy. It's not him. God didn't make him that way. You know why I tell you this? Because that was me with my wife. Like, the way I, the way I treated her, the way I, I did things, you would never guess in a million years that I'd become a pastor leading a congregation, loving people, loving my wife. You never guess it because I would leave my house for days. I was the worst husband, the worst person I, you could ever imagine. So I know that there's hope for him and we're going to pray and people are going to pray for him and they're going to pray for you guys and we're going to see breakthrough and you guys are going to end up coming to the church and y'all going to be brooded. But one thing about our church is we hold y'all accountable. 
we rebuke and we we hold we correct y'all. We say, hey, no, that's not what y'all, y'all need to be in church right now. Where y'all at? Why aren't, it's Saturday. Why aren't y'all here? Like that's the way we this discipleship, and that's what the church needs because so y'all guys can grow. Because if if we don't take care of God's little sheep, guess what? The little sheep are gonna try to run off, and the devil's gonna come in, take them, and that's not gonna happen to you guys. Please forgive him. Why? Because God is forgiving you. That's the first thing. Forgive him because God is forgiving you of every sin. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, I know that. Yes. I know I've been through a lot, and he's always been there. Okay, so it starts he's with forgiving. He always me I mean, he gave me my son when they told me I couldn't have kids. Wow. So, I uh, mean. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, one thing is this. The way he's acting, it's a, it's a full-blown attack from the devil, okay? That's not him. You just told me that you've seen a shadow, right? <laughs> Before we got on this interview, that you've seen a shadow, like, recently, right? When was it? Um, two nights ago. Okay. It was about 2.30 in the morning. I mean, obviously, we had been fighting. I didn't want to sleep in the same bed, in the okay. same room. The same. So, I was in... I was actually I was actually in the, kitchen, in the living room writing my thoughts to God and I was just thinking and you know what do I do next what do I do yeah. and then I saw a figure in the kitchen just a black figure I could see the figure and then arms mm. and then um, I kept looking at it I kept looking at it and I even said get out I said get out and then it dropped to the floor it literally and, sunk in yeah it sunk to the floor and it looked like there was smoke and then it looked like creatures going towards my my hallway to the end of the room where my son is and wow. where he was so it looks like it was going towards that way so i stood in the hallway and watched it but then i was like no i can't just not do nothing so i you know i went in there and i turned on gospel music and wow. i was just there and i was praying and i was sitting there talking to him did you feel fear yeah i was yeah, like like term, term. really anxious and then the whole day i was anxious and it's weird because at work my lamp that I, that's next to me kept going off kept going off on and off on and off really? at work mm-hmm. at work never has it happened before at that i mean it's my new but, did, it's but new job. did you go to a botanica yes i did that same day i did I look, look, before this like i like i started talking to her about botanicas not even knowing i told her that those are witchcraft stores and not even knowing she said i just went to one but check this out before we we move forward i want to tell you guys this is the importance she just seen a demon a full-blown demon in her kitchen why because there was arguments because there was sin in the house there was strife and another thing that you're not married and when you're not married there's not god cannot bless that because he's not the center he's not the foundation i told you it's not to hurt your feelings it's just the truth he has to be the foundation you have to do things right if you want him to bless it, you have to do things right, right? So the devil won't have legal right over y'all's lives. So anyways, husbands, wives, if you're fighting, understand that you literally invite demons into your house. And she said she's seen demons and creatures going towards your son's room. Guess who it affects? If you're married and you have children, it affects your children. You are the head of the house. Me and my wife, anytime we fought we, uh, and we have fought... I, I repent. She repents. We're like, God, forgive us. We don't want the enemy in our finances and our kids' life. And, and that's what happens. But, okay, so you went to the Botanica because you felt anxiety. Yes. So, I, I mean, I walked in and I basically just asked, you know, I just, she said, what's going on? And she was staring at me and I did, I did tell her, I was like, I have been feeling really anxious. And she said, well, what else is going on? And I just told her, you know, I saw something in my kitchen. <coughs> um, right after that, she just said, that's not it. And I was just like staying at her. I was like, no, yeah, I've just been feeling really anxious. And then she asked if um, we could give a call to my boyfriend. So I called him. We, I mean, we had been arguing too, so he didn't wasn't really answering my phone calls. So I was like, hey, can I call you real quick? And he's like, okay. So then I called him, and she kind of explained to both of us that um, she. Who's she? Um, well, the lady that worked there. Just the the worker. Yes. So she kind of explained to us that. Um, she feels like there's something that doesn't want us together. Somebody that doesn't want us together. That's why we've been doing, we've been doing good, and then all of a sudden something happened. And she's the one that said all this. I didn't give her any information. I mean, she told me that you know, his mechanism is to go to drink, which it is. I mean, he goes to drink. He goes to turn to other things that, obviously, is not me and my son. And um, she kind of basically just told us that he's been through a lot and it's holding on to him and now it's already rubbed off on me and now it's rubbing off on our son because um, she asked me if my son has been sick and I told her, yeah, he has been. He keeps getting sick. He keeps getting boogers and he keeps getting where he can't really breathe right and he's coughing all the time and stomach pain and she said Same. that that's what it was. She said that that's the, the entity that's there that's just um, 
from him that rubbed off on me that rubbed off on our son because of the fighting and the yelling and things like that um what made you go there anyways um i don't know i mean who taught you about going to these stores botanicas they, did you see all the altars they have like the, the soaps and perfumes those are witchcraft stores that's why we want to scream it at the top of our lungs those are witchcraft stores guys you're opening the door that woman you know what she she actually you actually came in agreement with things she spoke she said that rubbed off on you and your kid so now what you're gonna have to do is say i don't receive that i don't care what she said i nothing rubbed off on me nothing rubbed off on my child and you're gonna have to put your foot down as a woman of god and you're gonna say as for me and my house we're gonna serve the lord my ch my child will be blessed my husband because he's gonna be your husband you're gonna get married you're gonna do things the right way you're gonna have to forgive him and he's got to forgive you but he's gonna have to get healing right a lot of healing and it's okay it's gonna be okay and deliverance Okay, but so what made you go to this store? Um, I mean, a friend once told me that she, her family was going through a lot and she went there and things kind of changed from there. So she had just told me um, <coughs> I'd been there before with her, wow. um, but. To buy what? I bought a, like an ojo bracelet for my son, but the next day That's it was off of him. Like we couldn't find it. Thank we you, Jesus. You know what that is? That's an evil eye, right? Oh, I thought it was to keep away the, evil spirits like people it's an altar what it is it's literally a portable altar because what you're doing is you're coming in agreement with those spirits that are actually attached to those little altars of the evil eye is supposed to protect you you're a believer in, in god right yes. he's the one that protects us what is a dumb eyeball gonna do it's a it, you literally invite spirits and i'm so like passionate about this because i want you to, like no never go home and if you find that rip it burn it you got to burn that's witchcraft and you have to repent for that today and God, we're going to pray and everything's going to be okay everything's going to change in your life you watch and you're going to we're going to have another video later she's going to testify she's like oh my gosh i'm back but look where i'm at now jesus has moved i got my masters and you know i got married and now we're plugged into a church that's what's that's gonna be your testimony now amen I hope so. <laughs> no, you got to come in agreement. Say amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, so now, um, did you buy anything else? Um, no. So she had just said that she recommended us to go get like a lithia. <coughs> yes. The, uh, it's a cleansing, mm -hmm. a spiritual cleansing. Yeah, so she recommended us to go do that whenever, to go home and talk to him and see if that's what we were willing to do. And honestly, I've just got to the point where I was like, I'm, I want to do it if that's what we're going to do. But it's crazy that you say that because, I mean, she made something for my son. And you have she, a picture of it? No, I don't. It was what like is a it? green, um, like a concoction? green concoction. Yes, she told me to put him in the bath in it. So we did it last night. Oh no! <laughs> so no, that's, that's really evil. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like that's all witchcraft. But you can renounce it today and yeah. say, I repent for that and break off every demonic yeah. altar covenant agreement. That so, she, I mean, she just gave gave me that. She just said, I, you know, go talk to him, see if this is what he wants. But the weird thing is, like, when I was leaving, I mean, she kept, kept on, kept on telling me, put God first. She said, put God first, put God first. It's impossible. They, they that's what they say. Oh, it's it's about God, but they put their trust in in the 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 uh, the leaves and, and the perfumes, and and they have literally altars to all types of deities, demons. That's impossible for them to be true followers of Christ. He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He, there's only one God, one. There's no uh, saint this, saint that, saint this, and you worship them and make an altar to. The, was there holy death there? Absolutely. Right? The Santa Marte? Yeah. So you're telling me a, a woman of God is going to have a, a demon altar so people can come by and lives can be destroyed. You know people use that to destroy marriages? The holy death, they use it to kill people. Like they'll literally offer her candies and liquor. I've, I've, I expose the Santa Muerte. Like, uh, like I have the YouTube channel. I'm, I'm telling you. Like, And so I know about these things. Like there's no good in that. It's literally a demon. So... No, nothing she said you should come into agreement you should say i don't receive nothing i'm gonna go to the word of god everything i'm telling you is the word of god it's not my opinion you see it's not like what i just made up hey why don't you get a bunch of tea leaves and get in the shower no it's i go off the scriptures and that's how you know you you're safe the bible says that the scriptures are light you know so does that make sense to you? yeah i mean it does i just like i said i just i'm just so overwhelmed i'm just so okay. i guess done tired and I just needed something and I'm... You're here. The Lord showed up. Yeah. Amen. So, so do this. You ready to renounce it and repent? And Okay. And the Holy Spirit is going to come. So say this. Father. Father. 
I repent. I repent. For witchcraft. For witchcraft. I repent for rebellion. I repent for rebellion. Every witchcraft. Every witchcraft. Every curse. Every curse. Of my life. Of my life. And my family's life. And my family's life. Anxiety leave me. Fear leave me now. Fear leave me now. Depression leave me now. Depression leave me now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You spirit of fear that came in through witchcraft, through through uh, going through the botanica, any spirit that's been latched onto her since she stepped into that place, breaks in the name of Jesus. We command you to loose from her and don't you ever come back again. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Every covenant that was made in the spirit realm with her son in that bathtub, we break it. We command every demon to leave from her now. Father, I ask that you would fill her right now with your love and mercy and compassion right now. Holy Spirit, empower her to be a true witness. Surrender everything to him right now. Seriously, don't worry about nothing. Surrender everything right now. Let it go. You're, yeah, there it is. There it is. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You have to surrender so he can fill you. There it goes. Hallelujah. Let it all go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Everything goes. Everything goes. Let it go. Let it go. Loose. Loose from her now. Loose. Everything goes now. Everything goes. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Go in the name of Jesus. Every wicked spirit that's touched this child of God. Go in the name of Jesus. Don't ever touch her again. Don't ever touch this family again. Be honest. Like, what are you feeling right now? Like, relief, right? Yeah, I mean, I came here and asked God to, to give me something, give me a sign, something that just that I was going to be okay. And, and he gave it to you. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it just walked by you and you just asked me if you could pray for me. It's it. Like, this is it. What, what was your name again? Destiny. Destiny. Your destiny is his and him. Okay. It's done. I asked for a sign and he, he gave me one. <laughs> he really did. Amen. He's here and your life is going to change. Just don't speak death. Just say amen, I receive it. <laughs>